the inspiration and concept for moving from from the story from the from the record itself it was all about me just traveling and and somehow I'd also like to say that traveling especially being a Nigerian and having the Nigerian passport I have just seen the cruelty of the world so much um, immigration being treated like like what as soon as they see the Nigerian passport and until they realize that I am a Malay that's when the treatment changes so I have just pretty much seen the cruelty of the world so much especially having the Nigerian passport all that added to the inspiration behind moving and um, moving is a, a very positive song there's a song about just uplifting new situation being being energetic enough being alive enough to be able to move being grateful being thankful uh, and then I also went to the video the video I tried to capture the story of it's one of the most famous stories of the Nigerians from Edo to be precise who always try to get to Europe illegally through the desert through the Sahara Desert and also I try to capture the story of every illegal immigrant who is just looking for a home somewhere in the world to feel settled uh, I try to capture that with with the with a music video so I shot the music video in the desert I shot the music video in a truck which is the way our people has been traveling in the desert my creative process while writing moving was I pretty much just landed in a city Sweden and uh, what it was two days of studio camp with Leon and his brother and uh, on the last day I just randomly heard the beat and I was like yo go back to that and then we ended up making moving with it and um, I mean the two days camp was kind of frustrating for me because it was a bit of there was so many misunderstanding, like mis uh, miscommunication with my team. So things were not planned properly. So I was really upset with the two days thing. But at the end of the day, we made moving and that just, that just canceled everything that was bad about the trip, yeah. Um, yeah, the process was, was normal. It was just me again telling my story, you know, expressing myself about how I've been moving from one country to the other and just traveling and being on the road so yeah that was it there's just too many activities going on and then the more i get busier and the more there is just the need to want to do something for a certain reason um and of course this whole thing is like is a journey it's it's, it's a whole movement and there are some certain things that you have to do for some certain things sometimes Sometimes some music are made not just for the art, well, for the love of it, it's for a certain thing. So, um, I mean, as time goes on and I understand the business, maybe, maybe it could be more difficult to write from the heart or something. But yeah, but for now, I'm, I'm enjoying just being an artist and creating, yeah. These days I don't want to, I don't take credit anymore for production, but like, most of the songs on my album, I still have my my productive my production input in them. I just like to stay back and let the producer shine. But 20 to 10 percent of the production on the album were all my ideas. Holy Ghost, um, what? Those are all my ideas. So I just like to trust the product producers more and just like give them the idea and trust them to execute. I'm happy with how everything is playing. Of course, I have my fans, I have my family, I have my team, but I don't feel, maybe I'm loved, but I don't feel that way, um, especially by the media and especially by um, what, the people that call themselves the gatekeepers. This is something I've never talked this is something I've never talked about. I am that artist that just lives in a fantasy world. I just live in my head 90% of the time. And I begin to envision things. 
Reason was a song that was better from the struggles of the Nigerian youth, the struggles of the, the police harassing us, the or during protests, the army shooting at us and stuff like that. So um, that's why I always like to open with Reason. It's like I'm running. It's the, this is the Nigerian story. As much as I, I am a global superstar, and my music is it's a worldwide product. It's a global product, rather. I still make sure that I tell the story, my story, and the story of my people. And the reason is one of those songs that I captured so well um, about the story of Nigerians. After being in that prison for, in that cell for what, what you call it, three days, I just now love my freedom so much, you know. I just love my freedom so much now that I fight for it with every record. And, and ever since then, it, my music has just been about freedom in one way or the other. Everything that I made on Boy Alone was about freedom. I'm a mess, mental freedom. What, talk about financial freedom, freedom to create, freedom to just become, you know. Um, I don't, I don't want to give Uganda so much credit for locking me up, but that was definitely one of the things that shifted my perspective about freedom. After I made Boy Alone, I decided to actually just move on and try to take care of my mental health and try to organize a little, a bit more. So um, I decided that going forward, I was just going to take charge of my thoughts and try to control as much as I can. So, um, and that's why I made Holy Ghost and I made Moving. So it's a, there's a bit of intention in it, but also it's my life process. It's my life being documented in sound. It's my life being documented, my life being fused with Afro beats. So everybody's making Afro fusion, right? I am just infusing my life with Afro, so that's my fusion. So this whole thing is a process of me just documenting my life with Afro beats. Every moment of my life is being captured with sound. I'm in a place right now where I'm moving. You feel me? There's just that energy and I'm just moving. So it's been a journey. It's been an amazing journey. The type of journey that kind of throw you off. And I feel like I'm such a person who, I mean, every other artist kind of enjoy what this whole thing has done for them. And just being able to be, be this person, you know, become a superstar and stuff. But mine just kind of messed up with my head a bit more, made it even worse than it was before. So um, it's been a journey so far for me. And it's been a constant fight to just organize. And then it just got worse to go from that guy who you talked about in 2019, 2018 to becoming this guy. You know, it's just boom, and that's the world. The world, see Omale, Omale, see the world. Um, I love it so much. I believe 